We are back and no one can stop us guys. Milestone has just announced that MXGP 2020, the official motocross video game, is going to be released this winter. Earlier this morning, Milestone actually dropped the announcement trailer. It goes over all of the new features and all of the action that's going to be included in the MXGP 2020 game. Now it is a little past due. The time is definitely ticking, like TikTok up in here. Hey, speaking of TikTok guys, a little bit off topic, but I just posted my first TikTok and I'm actually on the road to 100 followers over there on TikTok. So if you guys are on TikTok, go toss me a follow. It would be greatly appreciated. But the timing of this game is definitely a little bit off. The MXGP games are usually launched in August. All of the previous games, I believe, dropped throughout the month of August. MXGP 2019, August 27th. That was its release date. So August went by and we are now deep into September. September and I had no hopes, no hope at all for a new MXGP game this year. Milestone proved me wrong though. This trailer, like I said, it just dropped this morning. I'm gonna go ahead, leave you guys with the trailer, let you guys watch it, and then I'll be back to go ahead and break down my thoughts. So yeah, enjoy the MXGP 2020 announcement trailer. Mud, sweat, and glory all day. December 10th, guys, it is coming. So guys, that is the MXGP 2020 announcement trailer and I personally gotta say, I'm simply excited just for another moto game. If I can get my hands on another game that involves dirt bikes, that is two thumbs up from your boy Goonzig. Now for the most part, I didn't find anything too special about the trailer. Obviously the editing and everything was like next level. They did a really, really good job with all of that and how it actually was put together. Milestone always does a really good job with their trailers. They are all Always a one. Of course, we have all of the modes like the championship mode, the career mode, the track editor, the waypoint mode, and all of that good stuff. My only concern is that the only new feature that actually caught my eye was the fact that we can now go ahead and add elevation into our custom tracks. That was one of my complaints with the MXGP 2019 track editor was the fact that it was just simply a flat canvas and we couldn't do anything with the elevation. So there is going to be some way for us to actually mess with the elevation and change that up which might actually be pretty cool but like I said it concerns me that that is the only new thing that caught my eye throughout the whole entire trailer obviously all of the riders have their updated gear and updated teams and all that but for the most part there was nothing that stood out that made me think like man that looks amazing I don't want to sit here and just hate on the game I really don't but even going back to the track editor I know it says we will be able to go ahead and change the elevation, but I feel like there's still going to be some limitations. There is going to be some way to limit us as creators. I can almost guarantee that we will not have free reign, free will to go in and do whatever we want on the track editor. I feel like it will be limited somehow, some way. Now, another thing I do want to actually mention is the fact that the game is coming out a few months later than normal. Now, this either means two things here, guys. In my opinion, there are only two reasons as to why this game is coming out a few months later than its usual release date. Reason number one, they have put a lot of extra work into the game and it is going to be next level. It is going to be the best MXGP game yet. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Now option number two is kind of what I think is going on here and what we are experiencing. I'm almost wondering if Milestone was like, hey, 
we didn't plan on releasing MXGP 2019. Let's go ahead, maybe throw in the Supercross bike physics and then release the game. We need that moolah. Let's get an MXGP game out there. Obviously, I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe that Milestone just released this game to pull in some more coin. But hey, maybe if that's the case, they're going to focus on Supercross 4 and then that game will be the best moto game yet. I'm obviously sitting here hoping for the best of the best. I am hoping like fingers crossed this game is actually good. It just makes me wonder because I feel like if there were a ton of improvements, a ton of new features, a ton of changes to the game they would showcase it here in the trailer they wouldn't just actually showcase all of the things we've seen before i'm just keeping it honest with you guys i'm gonna keep it 100 and keep it real obviously i'm excited for a new moto game but i'm not super super excited for what it looks like mxgp 2020 has to offer i am gonna go into it with a very 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 open mind obviously i'm gonna go in and just play the game for what it is i don't know maybe i am just being a negative nelly i'm not too sure you guys can let me know what you guys think down below in the comments like i said new moto Moto game means more content, fresh content, and I am beyond excited for that. But I think that's it. Mud, Sweat, and Glory MXGP 2020 releases on December 10th of 2020. So at the time of this trailer dropping, we are 84 days away from a new MXGP game. The hype is real, guys. Go down there, smash that thumbs up button. Follow me on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok right now. Right now now i just got home from work i gotta go shower that's it that's all deuces